Gopala Astrology Channel where the science meets astrology for common man's understanding. Subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for continued astrological update. Welcome to Gopal Astrology Channel, ladies and gentlemen. And today we have a surprise new guest, Tamil Selvan, uh, who is joining us from Singapore, and uh, Rajiv Garg, as uh, you all know him very well, he is joining us from Delhi. So today we are going to continue our uh, series of Astro Vedic Science for Dummies. And this happens to be our fifth video. And today's topic is very, very interesting. Many of you guys have been asking me all the time these questions. What is the difference between Lagna and Ascendant? How do you assess them during the analysis of transit results? So it's very important for every one of us to understand how much weightage has to be given to Chandra Rashi or the moon sign and then how much uh, we have to give a uh, weightage for ascendant okay and also what is the role of dashas and antar dashas and how much weightage has to be given so our um, uh, expert panels they are going to introduce themselves rajiv you know him very well let's start with tamil as he is a new guest for us tamil introduce yourself and uh, we will we will start the video all right oh. okay hi to everyone um, i'm really happy to see uh, join the, this call uh, long term, uh, I will I uh, interest to join, but today only happened this. Okay, good. Uh, because of uh, busy uh, schedule. Okay. So anyway, I am eager to know many things from uh, Kopala. He is uh, my previous colleague and also my well-wisher, advisor, everything. Whatever I have a doubt, I will always uh, check with uh, Kopala sir to clear out and just follow her uh, advice. Uh, his advice. Everything will be smooth so far. Um, so I'm very happy to uh, happy and uh, so have a like uh, advisor like Kopala. Oh, that's so, fine. Uh, <laughs> All right. So how about uh, Rajiv? So any any talks before we start our video session tonight? Yeah. Again, sir, eagerly waiting because it's a very new topic and much awaited topic. So like uh, we will throw some light over those things and then all our our audience will get benefit of, out of it very good okay so uh without wasting much of time i'm going to start our uh, uh, screen sharing here all right so this is my presentation for tonight so uh is the topic clearly seen let me put the panels uh, below in the screen here and uh, I hope you are able to see the screen very clearly. Okay. The topic is what is Ascendant or Lagna? See, everybody knows many videos are there floating in the YouTube. But uh, I really want to, even I have made a video before. But today, I want to throw some um, scientific uh, uh, information uh, on this uh, Lagna itself. What exactly is Lagna? And we have seen uh, so many charts actually. We call it as Navagrahas and even I have introduced you guys the scientific astrology, right? So which involves 16 body systems. Now, Ascendant is what? Where is our planet Earth? We are all living on this Mother Earth, right? So is there a role to put Earth in our chart? That's what is going to be the important discussion. So let's uh, go to the important slide here now. See, Lagna in Sanskrit is something like, uh, something as a beginning, you know, uh, entry of a soul to a particular thing. See, the soul can be there even for a mouse. You know? Okay, I'm holding a mouse here. I don't know, you can see. Any object uh, that is newly created, it is uh, going to start with what is known as ascendant, right? So it is. it has born, it has taken its birth. It can be a, even a non-living thing which is put into use. You know, you buy a car. The moment uh, uh, the Hindu system of practice is that we, we do a arati, we do a puja, and then only we will um, put the car on a lemon, you know. Uh, it's a South Indian practice. I think perhaps North Indian uh, practice also must be the same. And then we will put it on a lemon and then we will, we will uh, put the Ganesh ji and then we will start our car, right? So that is how uh, every beginning happens. So whenever our uh, soul got entered in our body, that is where we say the, the life has begun and the, the lagna has started. So these are all the philosophical dimensions, but I'm, I'm just going to give a simple definition here. It is the zodiac sign or the Rashi that is rising in the eastern horizon at any given point of time. And you should always pay respect to the location on this planet Earth, right? So every time the location changes, the lagna also changes. 
and whatever you see right now in the eastern horizon whatever zodiac sign is there that is called lagna rashi or lagna right so i will just uh, demonstrate here a simple um, uh, point here i'm just going to uh, stop here let us say we are going to stop earth here at singapore okay i am st- sitting in singapore and talking so now as the earth is spinning east to west i'm going to stop the earth there and from this point i'm going to draw it draw a tangent to the eastern horizon right so why eastern horizon earth is spinning east to west with a tilt of 23 and 1/2 degrees now this red line is going to hit one of the uh, zodiac signs in the bachakram am i right uh, rajiv so there are 12 zodiac yes. signs always there around us and it is going to hit one of it and that rashi it's going to hit is called the ascendant or which is ascending in the eastern direction descendant is opposite it is there in the western direction is it very clear tamil so whatever zodiac yes. sign it is there in the eastern horizon and now very important the earth is divided into 24 vertical lines we call it as longitudes so that means please understand by the time the earth is so big you know by the time the earth spins this tangent is going to move from one zodiac to another zodiac sign two tangent two uh, longitudes would have crossed that means every one hour is one longitude there are 24 hours and 24 longitudes obviously every two hour once a new lagna is born am i clear am i yes. making it very very clear okay so you see the next slide you will understand that even much better for example i am just showing the the top view now from the arctic uh, nor- northern hemisphere and let us take the america as example okay because america is such a big continent especially north america okay i'm going to show that so imagine this is the new york on the east coast of united states and this is seattle the west coast let us say the baby is born at 10:30 am in new york okay early uh, in the morning so that uh, at that point of time when i draw a tangent it will go and hit for example capricorn or magara rashi right so that becomes the ascendant sign for this baby now in the same way if i am going to draw a tangent uh, from the seattle the west coast it may come and hit libra right that becomes tula rashi as the ascendant so it is both same time it is having a time difference of 3 and 1/2 hours by location right and both the babies are going to have different characteristics is the is it making sense uh, tamil so yes yes it's graphically explained to you now that the location on the planet earth is very important where the birth happens so the lagna also changes so every time location latitude longitude has to be given that's why all softwares require latitudes and longitudes to be put up so that you will be able to plot the correct ascending zodiac sign okay so it's very very clear so that is that is the first important thing and then so okay. main sir like if baby born in singapore and baby born in us at the same time yes. but they have the different ascendant obviously it will be 12 hours difference for example new right. york and singapore they are diametrically opposite points on this globe so am and right. pm if it is 10 am in the morning in singapore it will be 10 pm in new york so both of them right. will have definitely different ascendants totally sometimes even maybe moon sign also may be different if the chandra is in the border of the rashis all right and sir it also depend upon the hemisphere like northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere it We also depends Yeah that's why you need to use the word jo- tangent see earth is a sphere okay so from wherever the tangent goes for, properly into the eastern horizon that will be your zodiac it can vary okay. at any given point of time it can vary okay right so every 2 hours that is why we call uh, we call in hindu concept muhurtam so any new auspicious thing you want to do we will decide and fix a muhurtam so based on the auspicious sign that is rising in the eastern horizon the priest will decide what mahurtam has to be given for that particular function all right so right. that's how it is now uh, in terms of uh, I, i just want to make it very very simple now so some people who are really interested to understand between the difference between the moon sign and the ascendant so it's very very important concept because many of our friends get confused between these two so what is moon sign and what is ascendant what is the difference so please understand sir, one question yes uh, tamil yeah 
from your slide the uh, we know everybody know the earth is rotating but the yes. 12 zodiac sign is a constant or it will also it will be rotated uh, 12 zodiac sign around the... always fixed and constant it will never move because we are yeah, going that's to why... it as a reference yeah. it will never move yeah that's why that's why is a different uh, different places uh, born the child the uh, character will be different right correct correct that's why, right exactly correct it will never change we always consider stars as fixed and in the background yes. of stars we we track the movement of our earth actually yeah yeah okay okay see always you should keep something as constant you cannot have both relatively moving and then you will get confused right yes. so a lot of relative physics will come into uh, picture at that point so to make it simple our rishi said we are going to follow what is known as geocentric system and we assume earth is stationary and uh, the rest of the planets are moving as we feel their magnetic influence on earth we are going to define astrology that's what our sages did so it's a wonderful uh, science it has been very effective and we don't follow the western as uh, heliocentric system where they consider sun is in the center and the planets are going around of course that is the reality we all know that but uh, from the astrological point of view we live in planet earth. we don't live in sun right so that is how it yeah. is going on yeah it means when uh, when we are born in the play uh, air that time will be the stationary this yes, means yes. uh, it's a constant so, we, so we, we will assume another zodiac uh, all the zodiac sign will be rotated exactly my friend you understood it now now i'm coming to the topic of the day the difference between lagna and rosh so the ascendant as i told you in a given 24 hour span it changes 12 times okay 12 times it keeps changing every 2 hours roughly okay depending on the panchangam the data handbook or what we call so we have to decide that the lagna is this 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 now the moon sign wherever the moon is there so moon is always revolving around earth it takes it takes about 27 and a half days roughly and we call that as moon panchangam right so wherever the moon is placed at the cosmic photograph when we take when you were born and that becomes our chandra rashi or the moon sign so why we have given so much importance to moon sign in vedic astrology is this chandrama manaso jataha that means the moon is actually going to control our human mind the way our thought processes are going on you know so whenever what is a thought thought is like just a flash of a photon you know it's an energy so that is controlled by moon so whenever the moon is placed very well in our horoscope our thought processes will be good and if it is having a good influence of a good benevolent planet like jupiter we think very well we want to do positive things if we are influenced by a negative planet like uh, saturn or uh, whatever rahu ketu we will have a lot of different negative thought processes also it is possible so always we have to consider moon sign as our thought process so whatever the way we think is is decided by the moon in our chart okay so that is why we always give importance to moon first and where you may ask me a question why not give importance to other planets yes every planet has to be given importance in its own way but uh, when we start about uh, what is known as dashas and antar dashas we always look at the nakshatra of the moon right so whichever nakshatra the moon is sitting that becomes your first maha dasha in your horoscope right so even uh, one nakshatra if you see there will be four padams four portions so which portion of that nakshatra the moon is sitting it will dictate how much years of dasha is left out in your chart for that particular planet and it always starts in a cyclical pattern we will come to we will make a lot of videos about dashas and tar dashas and how to decide and we will talk a lot about nakshatra stars okay so just for time being please understand that moon sign is very important to do, to determine our thought process now ascendant is something what is happening practically to us because ascendant is your physical body that you gained at the time of your birth right so these are very important one is the physical body that is happening what is happening to you as a physical body to you means i'm talking to your soul that is uh, decided by ascendant and moon sign tells you that whatever is the thought process that your mind is going to be given so one is the body one is the mind now we can always say for example in this particular case uh, what i have taken as an example here lagna is taurus in south indian format we are going to put uh, a line like this and that is called ascendant sign and everything starts with 1 2 3 from there okay that becomes your first house and in this case rashi or the moon sign is wherever the moon is placed and it is sagittarius so we can always go back to the details of the software it will tell you 
in which nakshatra of sagittarius it is being seated so it could be moola nakshatra or uttarashada nakshatra or purvashada nakshatra whatever nakshatra it is it will it will be there so based on that the dashas and antar dasha time period will start is that very clear now come coming to the most important slide i want you guys to ask maximum questions because our audience will have so many questions on this because nobody has i have seen many videos in the youtube but nobody has clearly defined percentage wise how the results will come to human beings you know say for example i make a video on saturn transit which happened on 17th of january so hundreds of uh, questions keeps coming to me should i see from my ascendant sign or should i see from moon sign and uh, whatever video you have done sir i don't get the full impact of that in my real life so they no don't see my disclaimer you know i will always say this please understand all the results to you in fact 75% of what is happening to you right now is dictated by your own karmic chart we call it as dashas and antar dasha chart right so that sequence will decide what phalam you will get 75% of it and 25% of it it comes from transit see it is something like this remember this beautiful example that i am going to give you imagine i am driving a car okay i am driving from new york manhattan and i want to go to some place in the middle of uh, united states it's a long drive i am going to make that's like a life journey okay the car is nothing but the physical body that you have got that is the ascendant is your car and then the atmosphere that you are driving in the environment you are driving is dashas and antar dashas and then the road the road itself is dashas and antar dashas right so uh, did i confuse you uh, i am i am talking about the environment as the gochara phalam sorry transit results and the road itself is dasha and antar dasha so i will repeat what is going on i am driving now it's a long drive okay and the road that is there on uh, in uh, in front of me is actually the dasha and antar dasha okay and the environment around me is 25% that means if it is a beautiful sunny day i can drive very clearly i can see the road very clearly i can go fast and i will be very confident to drive my car right on the contrary if it is snowing if it is heavy rain thunderbolts i cannot drive the car easily but if the road is really good i can still drive correct tamil so if yes. the road is good that means dasha antar dasha is good that means my car is stable so even if it is heavy rain still i can use my uh, wiper blades faster and then still i can focus if i am a good driver i can reach my destination very easily right so you must understand life is like driving a car the environment around you is actually the the transit results so sometimes the saturn comes in your favorable transit it may be a bright sunny day jupiter may favor you it's a beautiful day you know cool breeze is also there and things like that whereas when when these two planets are not in your favorable uh, transits okay you will have tough time in driving because it will be dark it will be sunny it may be even snowing and it becomes a tough journey so that means so 75% comes from your own karma that is the dasha and antar dasha so is it very very clear even in that 25% of transit results we have to give equal weightage 50 50 12.5% of the results will come from our moon sign our thought process right the way we think see if you have a positive mind uh, you can drive your car safely you know if you are always positive you are not scared that is that is your attitude you know the moon sign and then what is practically happening to you is based on from your movement of the transit results from the ascendant so whatever ascendant sign you have and uh, if the if the slow moving planets are in your favor you will have a easy drive okay now i will open the question and answer session from you guys uh, have you understood the concept now yeah sir you explained us yes, very yes. well by giving an example like road and uh, atmosphere it's very nice yes um, and sir one question you have mentioned 75% from dasha so yes. in this in this thing we are checking the dasha and antar dasha from like moon will decide the dasha and antar dasha the sequence But, the sequence but uh, like uh, in like example which lord dasha is there it will be decided by ascendant sign or by the moon sign ah that's a beautiful question see please understand we are deciding the dasha antar dasha sequence even the pratyantra dasha and sukshma pratyantra there are four levels actually 
all right. the four levels are dictated by your moon sign nakshatra so the sequence exactly. but the lord who is ruling the dasha for example if your 10th lord is saturn you are a mesha mesha lagna uh, person and your 10th lord is saturn and saturn mahadasha is running so you must understand everything has to be referenced from lagna as the lordship owner as the lordship right okay. so the lordship is decided from the ascendant not from the moon it's okay. it should be very very clear in your mind moon only decides the sequence okay is this clear so if you are dasha right. natha we call it as dasha natha the ruler of your dasha if he is in a favorable if he is a kendra sthana 1 4 7 10 which we explained in the previous videos you will definitely get very good results and if your antar dasha also is in a favor so even the sub period will be good so that's how it is you know it is like uh, uh, rajiv it is something like a, a library suppose uh, you want to go and find a book in the library right so first right. what you do you go to the you go to the share, uh, the, the surfing uh, computer there or whatever I, i think in india also you have this you will go through the catalog and you will see which is the room uh, the the book is there and then you will also go to which shelf it is there and also you will know which rack number it is there so you have to search one by one and then you will get the book in the same way when we are talking about uh, dasha it is a big uh, big chunk of um, information so we have to go to the uh, the next one antar dasha and if antar dasha is in your favor or not and then we have to go to pratyantar dasha so three or four levels some people we even go to the sukshma pratyantar dasha so then only you know what is really happening to you the results are favorable to you or not favorable to you all right so you have any questions tamil okay actually uh, from this slide you are telling 75% from the dasha and the dasha yes. 25% only the transit but the people are more important gives to the certain transit transit or the other uh, the, why they are giving more that that is what is the ignorance the that is the ignorance actually i want to remove from making this video because many people get confused and uh, whatever uh, people will be talking in the tv you know they will be talking about dasha palangal even in tamil they will be talking a lot about uh, uh, surya you know the simha rashi palangal like that they will be talking but uh, at the end of the day the real simha rashi person will not get all that results in his life he will be disappointed ah yeah what did that uh, shastri say in the tv it never happens to me why because he is missing this big piece in front of you it's a big elephant in front of you you are not seeing that and you are seeing small small ants which is not going to make any difference you know so understand the elephant the big piece there that is your dashas and antar dasha that is going for each person individually different they are all different okay if you are from dasha is good the dasha and the antar dasha is, is is from our own karma right yes. when it's, your, it's when your own are... moon sign chart that was there at the time of your birth so there are 8 8 billion people on this planet now 8 billion people also have different uh, dashas and antar dashas running yes you get my point and yeah yeah and sir we are having so many type of dashas yes vishnotri dasha yogini dasha and char yes, dasha yes 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 certainly other See, uh, so, it depends on what. See, I will tell you. Yes, there are so many dasha systems that has been followed. See, always uh, the more you know, the more you don't know is the is the right way of knowledge. That's what I always keep saying. See, everything started. The system of astrology, Indian Vedic astrology, started with Parashara system. Right, Parashara Hora Shastra is the basis of everything. So, based on that, different system. Even now, we have a uh, uh, new new uh, concept, Jaimini. many people talk about jaimini system okay krishna murti paddhati kp system right so it's a beautiful thing it's all additional new new thing that has been uh, added on it's an addendum to it definitely you should consider if you believe that you focus you do more and more research work and you find that is if yogini dasha is giving you a lot of results you should switch to that you know so uh, every doctor will give medicine in a in a different way the approach is different the disease is the same right you go to a homeopathic doctor he gives you a pill which is sugar coated pill and it has got a disease causing germ you know his concept is he thinks that a disease causing germ when injected to the human body in a very minute dose will cure the disease or will eradicate the disease itself that is the concept of homeopathy if you go to allopathy they will put the the micro uh, what is it uh, antibiotics right if you go to an ayurvedic specialist he will take some natural herb and he will try to build immunity towards that 
So every medical science, every group of medical, even uh, tantric, there are so many sciences, okay? Uh, everyone will give you different approaches. But at the end of the day, Dasha and Antar Dasha, what was, what was given uh, from uh, Parashara Hora system, that is what uh, I am personally following it. And it has given me very good uh, uh, results. And I've been using this for many of my clients' horoscopes for the last 30 years. And uh, I found uh, it's very, very relevant. I'm, I'm not denying so means, uh, other systems. Like, not Dasha. You mean, sir, you the the shot. Shot. yes, yes. Okay. And uh, sir, like you mentioned 12.5% from moon sign. So we will keep moon as an ascendant and then decide the how lordship. Yes. And, Whenever, if I yes, say, yes, for yes. example, you belong, your moon sign is, uh, for example, Scorpio. Right. I remember roughly. It may be Scorpio. Am I right? My memory is not bad. So yes, I know yes. that you are a Scorpio no, yeah, it is moon person. So for you, uh, what is happening now, I will make a video about the Saturn transit. It goes to your 4th house in Kumbarashi. So, you should give right. only that 12.5% whatever I say for Kumbarashi, uh, for the uh, Vrishchika Rashi, uh, for that transit results. And the remaining 125 you must give for your ascendant, which may be even Scorpio. So, that means almost 25% uh, is coming to you from this predictions that is given based on 4th house Saturn. We call it as Kantaka Shani. Right, so fourth house is uh, a Kendra Sthana. So Saturn is going to give you that Kantakashani effects. So that's how we have to interpret. But remaining 75%, if your Dasha Antar Dasha is good, you will still be able to overcome those things. Since your road is good, you are able to drive very well. You won't skid, you won't have accidents. But only you are, you are driving in a rainy day. That's all. Yeah. And uh, sir, if uh, ascendant is different, then uh, maybe like example, uh, ascendant is uh, Taurus. Example. Yes. So in that case, it will give the result of 9th and 10th house. Yes. Along with the 4th house. Correct. Both. You have to give equal weightage. The thought process is contagion. Your mind will be a little bit worried. You will be always worried. You would, uh, Because Saturn is like a retarder brake, you know. So Mercury and uh, Jupiter, they are gas pedals. You have to uh, drive the car fast means you have to press your, press your gas pedal. Correct. So in the same way, you need a break also. Saturn is a retarded break. It will caution you. You know, you are going to die in an accident. So, Saturn is going to prevent you actually. So, then only you have to slow down. Right. It's it's very, very simple. You know, like the case of Adani video that I made last week. Adani was yes. going to full zoom. You know, it has gone to the bursting level. At some point of time, Saturn has to apply breaks for him. So, somebody came to rescue in one way or the other. Of course, it has to burst. And then it has to grow again. That, that's, that is how the life is. It's a very typical example of Adani. He is a Kumbharashi person. So, definitely he is going through that Sade Sati or El any period. And the balloon was uh, booming up until like crazy. At that some point of time, somebody put a small pinch and the balloon bursted. You know? So, that, that's how stock market right. falls and all that. It's, it's, a, it's a part of our life. When Saturn goes to 11th house, he gives maximum Raj Yogam. I'm talking about moon sign. I will, our thought process will be, oh, let us accumulate more and more and more. At one point of time, just before the 12th house, he will push you down and you will fall down. You know, and then you will start what is understanding reality of life. Right? So, Saturn right. has got that portfolio and he will do that very diligently. That's why he is called right. judge in the horoscope. <laughs> All right? Very good. So, Tamil, if there are no much questions, let's go to the interesting point here. Sir, one question left. Uh, yes, we sir. are having the Varshfala also. Varshfala, like everyone yes. on their birthday. Sir, how much Varshfala fit here? How so, much? It, that Varshfala also becomes a part of the transit results. You see, okay. I, I have to explain to you like this. Varshfala means we are going to consider your birthday as the beginning of a year. And the year to year happens from your birthday. For example, you are born on some uh, uh, 1st of January. Or uh, let's take the example 15th of January. Not to confuse people. So, you are born on 15th of January. Your new year, your new solar year, I'm talking about solar year, starts from 15th of January. So, from there, of that particular midnight 12 o'clock, we are going to, or maybe your birth time, sorry, your birth time, we are going to make another Kundali. From there, we will put the predictions. So, that becomes okay. a good okay. problem only. It is not the Dashan. Okay. Okay. It's a part of that 25% results. Right. right. So, I think uh, we will stop here. Uh, if there is no much questions, we will we will continue our journey. Even we will talk about the horoscopes uh, for different countries itself. So, it's very interesting topic. So, 
uh, as the as the time is uh, limited let's uh, not make a very long video and we will stop our um, fifth video at this point of time conclusion is whatever palam result you are going to see 75% comes from your dasha system okay whichever dasha system you are believing for me vimshotri dasha system is 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 really giving good results and 25% comes from the transit results and that also you have to divide it into two portions so 50% weightage for our thought process and 50% what is physically happening to our physical body right so with this right. uh, we will stop here and uh, you uh, audience if you have further questions please put it in the comment section i would be very very glad to answer your questions all right thank you very much for your support if you are not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button and we will continue our uh, seeking journey on astrology all right everybody good night thank you bye bye, bye. see you guys